Good morning, guys, and hello here from a very wintry, cold South Africa. And as the weather shifts and everybody tends to be a little bit less resilient to the forces of nature, it further amplifies my um, topic, which we discussed with Davinia last week on the thyroid. So if you are struggling with hypothyroidism, one of the great modalities which you can incorporate to restore the health of the thyroid is that of infrared sauna therapy. However, I just want to put a little bit of a considerate a consideration uh, to its use. So through infrared exposure, you're obviously also going to heighten immunological reactions, namely increasing the activity of the kinurenin pathway. Now, this isn't all bad. And through this pathway, you also increase the production of NAD. And this is the reason as to why infrared sauna therapy has been touted to improve on mitochondrial health, or one of the reasons, at least. Now, the only thing to consider is when we do increase uh, kinurenin activity, is if there is any presence of candida, for example, within the body, you really want to prevent the conversion into quinolinic acid, okay, from the increased production of kinorenin. So how do we do this? Well, before going in for your infrared treatment, make sure to take nicotinic acid. Nicotinic acid is a powerful inhibitor of the production of quinolinic acid. Uh, quinolinic acid is extremely pro-inflammatory, particularly to the brain. So we really want to prevent the likelihood of any inflammation going on, in the, particularly in the nervous system, through the use of infrared light therapy, which is so beneficial for a whole host of other reasons as well. And the way in which we can do so is by first utilizing binders prior to the session or post session even is a fine. Actually, I prefer to use a post such as Chlorella um, or a great product from Biocidin called GI Detox, which works extremely well. And to also utilize necessary nutrient fac uh, precursors that are necessary for the inhibition, or not precursors, nutrient uh, factors that are necessary for the inhibition in the conversion to quinolinic acid. So for me, Justin McGuire, I hope this is informative. I hope this helps with your efforts toward in improving and restoring thyroid health. And from here, from us in South Africa, until we meet next, stay optimized.